we come in and attach the orange vivus body quill right behind the eye of the hook take a few wraps to the rear and snip off that excess and take another two or three wraps and then I'm going to bring in the thread this is 14 knot black vivus and I've got this on a bobbin already I'm just going to take the tag into this I'm going to come underneath that body quill pull that back over and that's just going to allow me to slide it down there and I'm going to try to keep this on the far side of the shank as I move a little further back to get about four or five wraps in there I'm going to let the bobbin just hang and I'm going to snip off that excess thread I'm going to take a few more wraps so I start to work down the bend of the hook and then once I reach that point I lay down nice side by side wraps right back up to the eye of the hook come in with just a two turn whip finish secure this quill right behind the eye give it a nice little snug tug make sure that that's going to hold and come in with your scissors and snip it off close now before I bring this thread forward let me give it a clockwise spin and that's going to tighten it up make sure that when I lay down these ribbons that it's nice and fine and narrow and I'm looking to make about five wraps for the segmentation once I get to about the hook point I'm going to grab the tinsel this stuff's fairly thin I'm going to come in and I'm actually going to cut this at a little bit of a 45 degree angle and the reason is I'm going to use this little tip to be able to grab a hold of it with a thread I'm going to try to hold it about perpendicular to the hook shank and catch it with probably two or three good wraps and then just set the thread right over there by the hook eye so when I come under here I'm looking to make two complete wraps there's one there's two I'm going to catch it cinch it down Dig two wraps behind the eye, and then snip this off. Now I'm just going to use that black thread, and I'm just going to build up a little bit of a thread head. It'll catch that tag that was left by the tinsel there. So I've got that built up. Come in, whip finish, and cut the thread. Now I'm going to come in with a little epoxy and less is more on this. I want to be dainty. I want to have a slim profile. So I'm going to lay down a little bit. We want a nice thin transparent coat. We don't want to build it up to where we're significantly changing the diameter of the fly here. I'm going to put a little on there. Brush the excess off there. And if you get to this point, so you can see it's kind of bulged up on the top and there's a little bit too much there just work it right back off you want to properly coat the fly but you want as slim a profile as possible so we look at that we're probably in about the right place and set it off to the side for five minutes and let it dry